Hey everybody, Steve here, coming back out again with another video for you all. This one's going to be at Franklin Falls and Snoqualmie Falls. This is going to be the second video of my Seattle trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are a returning viewer, I appreciate you watching. Welcome back. If you're a new viewer, please like, comment, subscribe, and welcome to the channel. Um, so I'm going to give you a breakdown of the places that I went to, Snoqualmie Falls and Franklin Falls, to give you a detailed breakdown of where to park, what to do, and just probably things that you would like to know before going there. So please enjoy the video first, and I hope to see you at the end where I go into a little bit deeper breakdown. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. So let me give you a breakdown of the two places I went to, the Franklin Falls and Snoqualmie Falls. So usually I give you a very detailed breakdown in terms of the length and how long and my thoughts and the difficulty of it, but I'm really not gonna do it with this because these two are really, really easy. Franklin Falls is about two miles to get there and Snoqualmie Falls is probably like a mile, maybe two. It's just a park you can walk around. So first I'm gonna break down Franklin Falls. So that one is, like I said, two miles long. It's not difficult at all. I think the most difficult part is if you're going when it's cold and it's raining, it's going to be really wet and slippery. So be careful with that. Make sure you have proper shoes. That's a huge, huge thing um, because when I went there, it was kind of sprinkling and you could slip, but you can get really, really close to the waterfall. Fortunately, when I went there, the tree, uh, a tree had fallen down. So to try to get really close to the waterfall was a little bit difficult and especially because it's raining so you're gonna probably slip and fall but i got as close as i can get to and it was really gorgeous beautiful the second place i went is snoqualmie falls so this one was kind of like out of the whim as i was going back to seattle i was like hey it's kind of like a lawn away let's just you know stop there real quick and see it and catch it and it was great i honestly really really enjoyed it it's a park um you it's family friendly there's a lot of stairs and then you can kind of make this a little bit more difficult. So first for parking, I'm gonna just talk about just straight parking. You don't have to pay for parking if you get there. I remember when I got there and I was trying to get in there immediately, you get like, I think it was like 12 or $15 to park right there. Um, but you don't, you don't have to do that at all. You can literally just park across the street and cross a bridge, probably add five, maybe eight minutes of walking to your stay at the park, which is absolutely nothing at all. So just save that money. For food coffee whatever you want and just pocket that and just do the extra five or five to eight minute walk the thing i will say about snoqualmie falls is that it's super family friendly so they have different levels of you can see the waterfall so if you do go at the bottom le level the you have to go down the stairs just know that you're gonna have to walk back up so that was a little bit challenging because i did snoqualmie falls after i did another hike so i kind of did two hikes like there so I was a little bit tired. And then when I went to go see Snoqualmie Falls at the bottom level, I had to come back up and that was a little bit difficult. So be prepared if you do decide to do Snoqualmie Falls and watch the falls at the, the lowest level that you're gonna have to come back up. Um, so if you don't wanna do that, you can obviously just see Snoqualmie Falls at the middle and the high level. 
and just enjoy it from there. And I know in this channel, I incorporate food because obviously I really enjoy food and I'm going to incorporate a little bit of that here. So if you are planning to go to Suquamish Falls and you're headed back to Seattle, just like I was at the time, highly recommend stopping at Aroma Coffee. I stopped there to get some coffee and just like a quick little bite to eat and it was absolutely delicious. So I got the pumpkin pie latte. It tasted just like a pumpkin pie. So I personally love pumpkin pie. It's delicious, probably my favorite dessert in Thanksgiving. Um, but it was so good, reminded me of Thanksgiving dinner and it was so, so delicious. Additionally, I'm gonna post another picture right here. I think this was a brownie. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, but it was so, so good. I, I'm a huge, I have a huge sweet tooth. So chocolate, it was like chocolate, it was like doughy, it was like a little bit hard, like brownie. I like that little crunchiness that it had. Oh, it was, it's things that I still think about today. So if I ever go back to Seattle, for sure, I'm going to stop by Aroma Coffee and get this brownie and also get the, get the coffee because it paired perfectly. It's like a little bit of sweetness and then the coffee had a little bit like a cinnamon taste to it. It was really, really delicious. So please stop by if you're going to go there, stop by Aroma Coffee. It's a little, little coffee shop. Kind of felt like I was in a neighborhood when I got there, uh, but the people were super friendly, super helpful. The brownie was delicious. I That's probably what I would recommend the most. Get that brownie if you do have a sweet tooth because you're not going to regret it. If you reached to this point of the video, I want to say thank you for watching all the way through. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I'm posting videos. Also go follow my other social media accounts, Steve Don Hernandez, SJ. When I'm posting here, I'm also posting there as well. And there's some awesome pictures, if I may say so. Uh, so go please go check that out and see it for yourself uh, but thank you thank you so much for watching all the way through please take care of yourself and god bless